One of the greatest things about blockchain is that it gives you open access to a brand new permissionless financial system where you can literally build bots that trade for you and print money while you sleep. Now, there's lots of different ways to do this from algorithmic trading to arbitrage strategies. But what about using quantum computers? Well, that's exactly what one of my students did. And today, I want to take you behind the scenes to show you how this thing works and what it means for the future of blockchain development. I'm going to talk about all this in the video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis, who's helped lots of other people become blockchain developers. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. All right, so let's get into this. So like I was saying, I stumbled on this project recently and honestly, it blew me away. This is hands down one of the most insane trading bots that I've ever seen because I've worked on algorithmic bots. I've worked on arbitrage bots, but this is the first time that I've really seen quantum used effectively inside this equation. Okay. So at its core, it is an algorithmic trading bot. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about that here in a minute, but here's the twist the algorithm actually runs on a quantum computer. And the crazy part, you know, again, this came from one of my students, Benoit. Now, Benoit didn't really have much of a blockchain background when he started working with me through my mentorship, but he did have a serious background in quantum computing. And what he did was combine those skills with the blockchain training that he got working with us. And that's how this bot came to life. And honestly, it's one of the most impressive projects that I've seen. And so if you want to do something like this yourself, or you want the hands-on guidance to take your ideas from concept to reality, or get the blockchain skills that you need to land a job in the industry, I'll talk about more of that at the end of the video, or you can just click the link down below to go ahead and get started. But for now, let's talk about how this bot actually works. So let's start off with algorithmic trading. Like, what the heck does that mean? Well, let's think about it this way. So most of the time when you're trading, like you're doing it by hand, whether you're clicking a wallet on, you know, decentralized exchange like Uniswap, or if you're on a centralized exchange like Coinbase, or even trading stocks or something, like you're manually putting in a buy and sell orders, okay? Or maybe like a market order. But algorithmic trading, what it does is it uses an algorithm that is code, okay, to basically buy and sell for you. And how it's doing this is it's doing this based on price movements. So instead of you clicking buttons, you've written rules for the computer to follow. So think about it like this. You might have seen something like TradingView and like watch people like put in something called PineScript on TradingView, where you get to like write these rules that whatever the price does, you're going to buy and sell based upon those. Like these are moving averages right here and you might buy based on whatever happens to the moving average. Or maybe you would do it in something like Python, okay? Or basically you say like whenever the price crosses above this moving average, buy, or when it crosses below, sell, or vice versa, whatever it is, right? That's a basic version of an algorithm that you could implement in code somehow, whether it's TradingView, uh, PineScript, or Python. And you can backtest this, okay, to where you could essentially write a strategy and look at all the historical data and then see if it would have worked in the past before risking your money on this strategy. And once you get something promising, then you're ready to set the bot loose and run the strategy in real time. It, all it's going to do is follow the rules that you gave it. You know, no emotion, no second guessing. You know, no, you're your own worst enemy in the situation. The bot just does what it's told to do. Okay, so that's what really an algorithmic trading bot's about. But what is a quantum computer? All right, so we have to first understand what traditional computers are or classical computers and how they're different from these quantum computers. So if you're watching this on, you know, a computer or a smartphone or a tablet, TV, whatever, it is a computer, all right? It's running a classical computer. All these computers at their very basic level work with binary, you know, ones and zeros on or off. Every calculation is basically flipping those bits into different patterns. Now, what is a quantum computer? Well, it's different, all right? It doesn't work like classical computers, all right? It doesn't work in the realm of ones and zeros. They use a quantum particle called a qubit, all right? Which can basically represent multiple states at once thanks to quantum mechanics. So you're not limited to on or off. You can have a lot of different states at the same time. And what this does is it opens up computing power dramatically. Basically, they can explore a huge number of possibilities simultaneously rather than just one at a time. 
And the end result is for certain types of problems like optimization, pattern recognition, or simulating really complex systems, quantum computers can theoretically solve them way faster than a classical computer ever could. So what happens when you put the two together? What happens when you take an algorithmic trading bot and a quantum computer and boom, make a baby out of them? So normally, again, a trading bot uses something like, you know, a programming language like PineScript or Python or some other language to crunch through your strategy, all right? You code the algorithm in a programming language, basically, and it's just a set of rules that for how to trade. But here's the thing, those rules can only get so complex, okay? They're running a classical computer and they're limited by processing power and the way that classical algorithms explores possibilities. But quantum changes the game because it can elevate far more possibilities at once, all right? That means instead of brute forcing or simplifying your strategy, you can actually optimize it in a way that a normal computer just can't. So in other words, the quantum computer doesn't just replace the algorithm, it supercharges it. It can search for patterns, run optimizations, and adapt faster than traditional code would ever allow. That's why Benoit's project is so impressive. It wasn't just a trading bot plus blockchain. It was taking something that's already hard and making it even more powerful with quantum. All right, so that's an overview of algorithmic trading and quantum and how you can put them together from a theoretical perspective. But concretely, like what do you need to pull something like this off or to build it? All right, what are the actual ingredients? Well, first, you need an execution environment, a place where you can actually trade cryptocurrency and a place that you're going to monitor price changes, all right? So you can do that a couple of different ways. If you want to do it directly on the blockchain natively, you're going to want to use something like a decentralized exchange, all right? So Uniswap is just an example. You can do it on Radium if you're running on Solana. You probably want to pick one of the most popular exchanges that has lots of liquidity and lots of volumes that you can actually, you know, get orders filled, okay? So that's one strategy, or you can use a centralized exchange, all right, if you want to actually hold money on a centralized exchange like Kraken, Coinbase, Binance, whatever it is, and you need the API keys to actually access it via an API, obviously not the user interface, and then you're going to plug that into your bot side of things. Okay, so now let's go to the bot. That's the trading execution environment. Here's the bot. So your bot is going to talk to whatever trading venue that you're doing, just tell it to trade, all right? But your bot's basically your runtime, all right? It's the piece of the software that takes the signals from your algorithm and pushes them into real trades. So this bot's going to be written in some type of programming language, whether it's, you know, JavaScript, Python, doesn't really matter. It could be something else even. But it's essentially this sort of middleman that's going to run all the time and interface with the trading venue and also next the quantum computer, okay? So let's get into the quantum side of things. So here's the kicker. You need to get a quantum computer. You got to have access to one. And no, you're not going to run one of these in your garage. Instead, you're going to have to rent time on somebody else's quantum computer. And yes, uh, I'm pretty sure Benoit's used IBM's quantum computing service, which I'll list some more here in a minute. Um, it's one of the few ways that developers can actually get access to real quantum hardware today. Because again, you're just not going to run like yourself. This is not physically possible. And so if you want to check out some other quantum resources, you can look at IBM Quantum Experience, Microsoft Azure Quantum, and also Amazon Bracket. So now going back to Benoit's story, here's the crazy part. Benoit brought his quantum computer skills to the table, but he didn't do this completely alone. Okay. He worked alongside me and my team inside the mentorship at DAP University, where I personally work with students to go from wherever they are to building advanced blockchain projects just like this. And Benoit is not the only one. I've helped students build trading bots, launch startups, even land jobs at top blockchain companies, all right? But this project was such a cool example of what's possible, I had to share it on YouTube today, all right? So how does this actually work? So inside the mentorship, we train you with real hands-on projects every single week. We work with you directly, not just teaching concepts, but guiding you step-by-step -step as you build. So whether you're starting from scratch or you're already an experienced developer, we've worked with everyone from complete beginners all the way to CTO level programmers. And, you know, here's the best part. We don't just train you and say, good luck. We actively work with you to get a job in the industry until you're hired. And in fact, if you're good enough, we might even hire you ourselves. But to be clear, you know, this isn't just for everyone. This isn't just a YouTube crash course or a playlist of tutorials. This is a mentorship for people who want direct support, accountability, and a clear path to becoming a blockchain developer. So if you're serious about building, you know, launching your own business or landing a job in the industry, I'd like to personally invite you to apply. 
There's a link down below where you can get started. But even if you don't, I hope Benoit's story inspired you because the world of blockchain development is wide open and the only limit is what you're willing to build. And so I hope you like this video. Make sure you smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.